meeting. Yeah, today concept name is test development. Today concept name is test development. In the test development, first concept use case. What is use case? Use case is nothing but it will describe the all the functionalities in the application. First concept use case. What is use case? Use case is nothing but it will describe the all the functionalities in the application. It will describe the all the functionalities in the application. It will describe the all the functionalities in the application. Use case document prepared by business analyst. Use case document prepared by BA. BA means business analyst. BA means business analyst. Based on the FRS document, he will prepare the use case document. Yesterday we discussed one concept that is test planning, test plan document prepared by test lead. So today concept is test development in that first concept use case. Use case document prepared by business analyst. Based on the FRS, he will prepare the use case document. Based on the FRS, he will prepare the use case document. What is the use case document? What is the use of use case document? We will describe. We will discuss now. For example, we have an application. Customer is saying that customer requirement is that customer requirement is add button should work fine add button should work fine this is the customer requirement customer is saying just he is saying simply add button should work fine that is the customer requirement that is the customer requirement Customer requirement is add button should work fine. Based on the requirement, he will prepare one use case document. Use case, how it will be. So just to take 10 in the place of value 1. Just to take. Twenty in the place of value two. If you click on add button, result must be thirty. Just customer said only one requirement that is add button should work fine. Based on the requirement, business analyst he wrote to test case, sorry, use case that is just take 10 in the place of value 1, just take 20 in the place of value 2. If you click on add button, result must be 30. So, just we will take 10 in the place of value 1, we will take 20 in the place of value 2. If I click on add button, result 30 is coming or not. This is our duty. This is our task. So, simply we can do it. Simply we can do it. We will take 10 in the place of value 1. We will take 20 in the place of value 2. If you click on add button, result is 30 is coming or not. We will need to do testing. So, this is use case. Use case document prepared by business analyst. Business analyst will prepare the use case. Business analyst will prepare the use case. So, Today we will discuss use case document. Actually, this use case document prepared by business analyst. But whenever you are working with any software company, that company people will be give you FRS document as well as use case document also. After getting the use case document only, we can understand the requirements very clearly. If you get the only FRS document, we can't understand the requirements very clearly. After getting the use case document only, we can understand the requirements very clearly. So. That is the reason we are learning use case document. So first of all, we should know how it will be. What is the use case document? How to understand the, all the requirements very clearly. So if you get only FRS, we can't understand the requirements very clearly. After getting the use case document only, we can understand the requirements very clearly. So, so first of all, we should know what is use case document. So if you want to prepare use case document, for example, use case document prepared by business analyst only. But if you want to prepare use case document compulsory, we should have four things. We should have four things. One is screenshot, application screenshot. 
second one is frs frs means customer requirement specification so customer requirement document and third one special requirements this special requirements given by business analyst and use case template if you have these four things we can prepare use case document so if you want to prepare use case document we need four things screenshot frs special requirements use case template simply we can say use case doc what is use case use case is nothing but actor actor means user actor means user if you do any action if you do any action what is the response coming it will show you very clear manner actor if you do any action what is the response is coming he will say in use case document so use case document means it will describe the all the functionalities in the application it will describe the all the functionalities in the application if we want to prepare use case document we need four things a screenshot application screenshot frs document special requirements and use case template if we have these four things we can prepare the use case document so right this is the application customer want this type of application he is saying requirement this is the application screenshot customer want to this type of application so he is telling requirements what is that requirement first first point screenshot we have second point functional requirements second point functional requirements if you want to prepare use case document we need frs frs means functional requirement specification customer is saying he want this type of application he is giving requirements whenever invoke the login screen login screen should contain username comma password comma connect to fields comma login comma clear comma cancel buttons this is the first requirement customer is giving whenever invoke the login screen login screen should contain username password connect to fields so login clear cancel buttons second requirement connect to is not a mandatory field customer is giving requirements connect to is not a mandatory field whenever user requires you can select a desired database option so here we have number of databases in the connected to field we have number of databases whatever you want you can choose the database after entering after entering username comma password and if we click on login button corresponding page must be open
why i am saying corresponding page there are two users if it is any application there are two users if it is any application there are two users one is normal user second one is admin user if it is normal user if you enter username and password it will open home page if it is admin user if you enter username and password it will enter admin page there are two types of users so normal user admin user if you enter normal username and password it will open normal home page if it is admin user if you enter admin username and password it will open admin page there are two types of users if it is any application there are two types of users so that is the reason i am saying here after entering and username and password and if you click on login button corresponding page must be open i am not saying specifically uh, it is home page or admin page if it is normal user if you enter username and password it will open home page if it is admin user if you enter username and password it will open admin page fourth requirement frs means this requirements given by customer frs this is the frs frs given by customer right fourth requirement after click on clear button all the fields must be cleared and after click on clear button all the fields must be cleared and cursor should be placed in the must be placed in the username field fifth requirement after click on cancel button application must be closed this requirements given by customer the requirements is we can call it, it is a explicit requirements frs requirements or customer requirements we can say explicit requirements also explicit 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 requirements next special requirements special requirement this requirements given by business analyst we have another name implicit requirements now he is saying requirements first requirement whenever invoke the login screen login comma clear must to be disabled why is saying madam whenever invoke the login screen login clear must be disabled why is saying business analyst is adding extra requirements after giving the customer requirements he adding extra requirements why is adding for look and feel purpose so just he is adding 
some more requirements this requirements is called special requirements business analyst is adding the requirements now he is giving a one requirement is whenever invoke the login screen login clear must be disabled why is saying login must be disabled is that a special requirement by the customer yes special requirements in the first requirement he said whenever invoke the login screen login clear must be disabled why he is saying i don't know Cancel always enable. Why is saying? Why is saying? Cancel always enabled. So why is saying? Whenever they invoke the login screen, login clear must be disabled. Why is saying? So without giving the any information to any of the field, if it is clear or login, if it is enable or disable, no use. That's the reason he is saying. But second requirement, cancel always enable. Why is saying? So. cancel button at any point of time we can close the application at any point of time we can close the application there is a chance to close the application at any point of time that's the reason he is saying cancel always enabled third requirement after entering username comma password then only login must be enabled after entering username password then only login must be enabled after entering any information into any of the field clear must be enabled after entering any information into any of the field clear must be enabled fifth requirement the tabbing order must be username comma password comma connect to login comma clear comma cancel buttons the tab tabbing order must be username password connect to fields login clear cancel buttons so this is the requirements mm -hmm. given by business analyst so first one screenshot is over second one is frs is over third one is special requirements over fourth one use case template use case template first first point in this template name of the use case login use case brief description of use case it will receive the it will receive the all the functionalities in the application it will receive the all the functionalities in the application actors means users normal comma admin 
requirements frs comma special requirements free conditions free conditions free conditions developer developed application developer developed application must be available developer developed application must be available force condition force condition if it is correct username password home page if it is wrong username password error message free condition developer developed application must be available force conditions if it is the correct username correct password correct username correct password if it home page if it is normal use uh, wrong user and wrong password it will display error message okay. next flow of events one is the main flow main flow in this main flow we have two things one is the action second one is the response one is the action second one is the response now i will tell you action what is the response coming you should tell only based on this requirements we will write the test cases use cases this is very very important this is very very important now i will ask you action what is the response coming you should tell okay what is the response okay. will come okay. you should tell actor invoke the application actor invoke the application what will happen actor means user user invoke user. the application what is the response madam application will be open oh uh, open with following fields like username password connect to fields to login clear cancel buttons so in the first yeah. requirement i wrote whenever invoke the login screen login screen should contain username password connect to fields so login clear cancel buttons right mm -hmm. actor enter valid username valid password if you click on login button actor enter so valid username you... valid password if you click on login button the home page will come uh -uh. no if it's correct no no actor enters valid username valid password if you click on login button no it will open the home page no hmm. then you should tell sorry <laughs> i will tell you answer if it is normal user <laughs> if you enter normal username password it will open home page if it is admin user admin admin page must be open just yeah. you should tell like that 
Oh, okay. Active, click on clear button. Yeah, click and clear. So it will clear all the details of normal and admin. Next. What's the next? All the fields must be cleared and cursor must be placed in the username field. Okay. And after click on cancel button. Everything will be cancelled. Ah, application must be closed. Okay. So actor enters valid username, invalid password if you click on login button. Oh, sorry, I didn't get it. Actor enters the wrong valid one. username, invalid password if you click on login button. Uh, you won't log in. It says error message. Ah, it will display error message. Actor mm -hmm. enters invalid username, valid password if you click on login button. It still says error message. Error message. Actor enters invalid username, invalid password if you click on login button. Still says error message. Yes. Actor enters only valid username, he is checking enabled property of the login button. Actor enters only valid username, he is checking enabled property of login button. Login button must be enabled or disabled? Uh, must be disabled. Why? Because he hasn't pa uh, 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 typed a password. Yes. Customer is gave requirement after entering username and password, then only login button must be enabled. But he's, here he is giving only username, he is not giving any password. So then login, mm -hmm. login button must be Disabled. Actor enters only username. Actor enters only username. He is checking for the enabled property of clear button. Clear button must be enabled or disabled. Uh, I think it's enabled. Why? Because he, he still can get clear. He still can delete everything. He said already, after entering any information into any of the field, clear button must be enabled. Mm -hmm. The tabbing order must be enabled. The tabbing order, the tabbing order must be, customer is said, one order. Tabbing order enabled. Tabbing order, tabbing, tabbing order must be. The tabbing order must be username, password, connect to fields, login, clear, cancel buttons. Mm -hmm. This is the requirements made now. Using these requirements, we will write use cases as well as test cases. We will write use cases as well as test cases. Nearly 10 times read it made up. 10 times read okay. it. Use cases. Sorry, requirements. Just you should. Just you study the requirements. Based on the requirements only we will write the test cases. So already I said only one point. If you want work with any software company or any project, you should know only two things. First of all, how to understand the requirements. After understanding the requirements, how to write the test cases. If you know these two mm -hmm. things, you can work with any project, any software company, anywhere in the world. So these okay. are the requirements based on the requirements, business analyst, Ebro test use cases. Using use cases, we will write the test cases. Using use cases, okay. we will write the test cases. Test. Just read the test cases. Tomorrow, Max, I can take two classes and I can complete manual testing, entire manual testing I can complete tomorrow. Okay. So just you should concentrate. Uh, have you by heart that uh, test plan index? All right. Huh? This one. Plan index. Last class. Huh? Hmm. Introduction, Objective, Reference Documents, Coverage of Testing, Features to be Testing, Features not to be Testing, Test Strategy, Levels of Testing, Methods of Testing, Types of Testing, 
and the test techniques, test, test design techniques, configuration management, test metrics, terminology, automation plan, list of automated mm -hmm. tools, base criteria, acceptance criteria, suspension criteria, test deliverables, test, test environment, resource planning, scheduling, staffing and training, risks and solutions, assumptions, approval information. So these are the 12 points compulsory. Compulsory you should by heart as well as you should read this document nearly 5 to 10 times. Then only you can understand all the requirements. Using this requirements only we will write the test cases. So 5 plus 5, 10 requirements you should by heart. Not just study the requirements. Try to understand the requirements. So then we can write the test cases. Tomorrow I can take two classes madam. Okay. All right. Just compulsory, I am giving time. Why I am giving time? Compulsory, you should buy hard the test plan uh, contains as well as this 10 requirements. Okay? Mm. Okay. Oh, this sure. recorded file, now only I will send you, just within minutes I will send you, Ma. Okay, I'll, I'll send it. Okay, have a nice day. Take care. Enjoy. Mm. Tomorrow I can take two classes. Two classes.